Good morning YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Paige Smith and if you are not, welcome back to the channel. I'm glad you guys made it back and we are on another episode of my prep series. I am currently one week out for my show. It is officially peak week. I'm so excited. I can't believe how quickly it came up. So for those of you who don't know, peak week is the week before the show. So today is Monday. Our show is on Saturday. So today is we start like our different peak week protocol, uh, which is where we are going to deplete, essentially be in a larger calorie deficit than before. And then when we get close to the show, we will carve up. So then we have a real fuller peaked look. Anyways, we are one week out from the show, well, actually just days, we're Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. we're six days out from the show. We're all registered, we have all of our tans booked, I'm going to be doing my own hair and makeup, and I'm so excited. So a few things that Peak Week's going to look like, so I have morning, I have my morning fasted cardio three more times, so I'm currently en route to my cardio. I only have to do it two more times after today, and then when Tuesday, Thursday and Friday will be a rest day, so that'll be really nice to have to do fasted cardio. And then we only have, we meaning TJ and I, then we only have the three more workouts today, tomorrow, and then Wednesday. So it's crazy, it's all coming to the final workouts of the prep, final cardio sessions, final meals almost, so it's really exciting. I really appreciate all my family and friends who have come to support me and TJ at our show this weekend. It's going to be so fun. I'll be able to vlog the whole thing for you guys. It's going to be amazing. So this will be the Peak Week vlog. Just kind of what it entails because there's a lot that goes into Peak Week in my opinion. Just the preparation before the show is so fun um, and I want to share that with you guys. Okay, after cardio, I'm going to hurry up, eat a meal, and then go get my hair done. So that's really exciting. And then me and TJ, since it is Memorial Day weekend, we both have off today. So honestly, it's just going to be a super chill, relaxing day. So we'll probably go to the store. So that'll be kind of fun. I can take you guys along. Maybe we'll get some fun treats for this weekend now that we can, you know, splurge a little bit after the show. So I will either catch you guys with some new hair or I'll see you guys in the next clip. So this is a change in events. My hairdresser is not here. She's not responding to my messages. So... Avery, love that. She's not here and I'm really sad. I'm really tired. So I think I'm just gonna go home, drink some coffee, and see what the day holds. Alrighty guys, me and TJ are back. We I did not record today. It was honestly kind of an emotional roller coaster to say the least. My hair lady did not show up to my hair appointment and then I came back and I just was like bummed and a little bit stressed. And then my mom called and I don't know about you guys, when your mom's call, they just like get you and I just started bawling. So we had like a four hour long conversation. Uh, but then me and TJ kind of just like relaxed, watched TV. Uh, we've been watching Crime Scene Kitchen, which is so good if you haven't seen it, it's on Hulu. Um, but then we went to the gym. Oh, sorry, the camera died, um, but we put a new battery in and we're all good. But so it's been a crazy day, didn't record a lot. And then TJ and I have been meal prepping and then we were going to go to the store to get chicken and asparagus. Okay guys, chicken and asparagus, but I live with this man. And you wanna see what our grocery haul is? Do you wanna tell them what happened? They're gonna love it. We kinda of got a little crazy. I started to get crazy and then Paige just jumped in with me. I don't think we I, just, I, we went crazy. Let me just show you guys what our shopping This is six is. months of not having, by the way. Okay, you ready for this? <laughs> guys. This is literally all him. He insisted on a 40 bar pack of freaking Rice Krispie Treats. <laughs> we got all of these. I had to try these little Fruit Loop gummies. Oh my gosh, he found these, which honestly, they look kind of fine. Um, Everything is just... He got crazy. Captain Crunch bars, but then he this found the Captain not Crunch... This is Hello. Yeah, I know. Okay, let me... <laughs> I will show you guys what we what's mine. And so I, I wanted to go to GNC and... Or not GNC. Yeah, GNC. Discount or Discount Sports Nutrition and got some lunch Jerry Foods um, Pop-Tarts because I've been seeing those. really want to try it. And then we got some freaking Cookies and Cream Cosmic Brownie, the original, of course. We wanted to try the Crunchy Cookie m and which is fine. We have a bunch of Girl Scout cookies already from whenever they were selling them earlier this year, TJ got them and stocked up. We got three different flavors of cheesecake, strawberry cheesecake, 
uh, ice cream, sorry, uh, cookie two step, and then a Magnum. Tisha got fruit snacks, Cheez Its. Beef jerky. He got so much beef jerky. <laughs> I also wanted this lemon poppy seed Larry's cookie. It's not just because like it's healthy. I just really like that one. And then I wanted to try. I wanted like free pebbles, but not a whole box like Crazy. this man. And then I got cocoa pebbles. So I'm gonna sort these by what I got versus what TJ got. But like, go stand by it. Thumbnail. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but yeah, so this was our grocery haul. It was not chicken and asparagus. And we almost forgot the chicken and asparagus. Yeah. So, anywho, in case you guys were interested in what our post show treats look like, we are stocked yeah, with it, so don't even worry. Luckily, we have both of our parents and family coming in, so they'll, let it, they'll help us attack this, and we're not going to eat it all. We're definitely going to no, be smart and mindful. This is not a one day. This is like, TJ's like, I just like stockpiling yeah. it. I was like, why? why? You guys let me know whether you'd like to be on the end of Paige's side, where she likes to go and eat a little here and there, and go to the store and get it if mm -hmm. she likes it, or yeah. she's craving it. Me, I already know what I crave. I like to have it on hand. So when I crave it, I could just a little here, a little there, a little there. Yeah, so he just likes hoarding it all. I'm like, we're going to be going out to eat. If I want something, I might go pick it up. If not, I just won't have it. No. no. So anyways, I'm going to sort this by me and TJ's, and I'll show you guys a comparison. All right, guys, here's the final tally. This is TJ's side. This is mine. Get a close-up of this one. Get a close-up. TJ's mine. So TJ's got both the classic brownies, nerds robes, sour strips, Two packs of trolleys, airhead gummies, sour patch kids, fruit loop gummies. He did get the brown sugar legendary pop tarts, so that's fine. Scooby snacks, Cheeto duos, Captain Crunch cereal bars, Captain Crunch cereal, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, a huge thing of Rice Krispies, two Samoas, the Fruity Pebbles, Apple Jacks, and Magnum chocolate ice cream. Me, obviously, if you guys can't tell, I like peanut butter. I got the Reese's potato chips and the Reese's pretzels. I've never tried them before, so I thought they'd be fine. Um, I love peanut butter crunch, so I got that. And then, like I just mentioned before, the lemon poppy seed cookie. These are those limited edition cookie crunch flavors, pop tarts, and I got two ice creams. I got the cookies and cream and cookie dough, uh, cookies and cream cookie dough bluebell, and then a strawberry cheesecake Ben and Jerry's piece in the mood. So. That's our freaking haul. It's insane. Best but life. we are thriving, living our best life, and let's kill it. We're fighting it out. Woo! Hey guys, I am back. It is currently Tuesday morning. It is around 11 a.m. I just finished up a work call and I am just working from home today. It is Tuesday. We are in peak week like I've mentioned a billion times in this video, but we are on peak week. I woke up this morning, did my weigh-ins, my check-ins with my coach, uh, went into cardio. This was, today was the second to last cardio session before the show, so we have one more tomorrow and then we're done. Um, today I will be hitting legs for the last time, so yesterday I hit glutes and hammies, and then today I'll be hitting quads, and then tomorrow I have an upper body session, so I am so excited. Today is kind of getting back to the grind of work, and then I have work again tomorrow, and then I took off Thursday and Friday. I am auditing a client that has a 4.30 year end, so I'm hoping that I don't have to work on Thursday and Friday that I took off. So I'm going to enjoy those rest days because I won't have any cardio to do or workout. So I'll just sleep in and enjoy the last few days of prep for this show. And then for those of you who are curious, after our show on Saturday, we'll enjoy like our little dinner with our family. We'll enjoy probably like a free day on Sunday. And then we'll hop back on plan because we will be competing at Summer Shredding in three weeks, four weeks. Um... So on June 24th, that's when summer starting is, so we'll just hop back on plan and get after it again. So we're almost there, but I'm super excited because this show is like the big one. We want to get nationally qualified. We want to, um, this is kind of the one that we've been working the most for because it is NPC where summer shredding is more so fun, but still both. We both want to win both. Um, anyways, so I'm going to hop back on this call and I will see you guys later on for the day and I'll let you know what I'm up to. 
Hey guys, what is up? As you can see, I got my hair done. It looks a little bit spicy right now, a little crazy, but I think it'll look better after I wash it. It'll be perfect for show day. And we are about to get our pre-workout drinks ready and go to the gym. It's my last quad and adductors day, which I'm so excited about. Also very nervous because Josh has been training me these last few days and he likes to kill me. So pray for your girl because it might be brutal, but it's the last one so I can do anything one more time, right? Anything one more time. And then after that we just have one more cardio session, one more workout tomorrow, and then it is a rest day on Thursday and Friday which I'm so excited about. Hey guys, happy Wednesday. So it is Wednesday morning. I just finished my last cardio session of prep. I am so excited. The show is this weekend and we do hop back on plans. So I'll have to do more cardio later. But as of right now, I'm rejoicing. I'm so grateful. It was just, it was so nice getting off that Stairmaster for like the last time before I step on stage. So, so excited. But I just got home. I made my meal. It's upstairs and I'm gonna hop on online for work. And I just wanted to take you guys along today. I'm just working from home. I'm gonna make a list of some goals that I have for today, tomorrow, and then Friday. And I will catch you guys up on that. So I'll see you guys in the next clip. What is up guys? I thought I'd pop in and give you an update. It is currently about three o'clock on Wednesday still. Um, so I've been working a lot and then I on my lunch break I went to the chiropractor because I had a really hard leg day um, A few days ago, I think it was on Saturday and I don't know if it was from like the hack squat or like press for that really hard leg day My neck was really hurting and I feel like my whole body got super sore and I was really uncomfortable like my neck was uncomfortable and then also whenever I started my vlog on Monday I mentioned how I was very emotional um, it could have just been like being tired and hungry, but I feel like my plan hasn't changed that much since starting peak week So I feel it was too emotional and I think it was because I was out of alignment So today on my lunch break, I decided to go to the chiropractor and he literally did like the whole shebang he uh, fixed my back popped my hips both sides and then did my neck and he was like, oh my gosh I'm so glad you came in like you were so out of whack. I was like I know so if you guys are dealing with like trap soreness like mine was my traps were getting really sore and then I was getting headaches during like my workouts um, go to the chiropractor and or try to implement something like that because I feel like a whole new woman I feel more energized I don't feel as like tired or out of it um, more emotional you know because yesterday I nearly cried in my last like day so I was very excited that I went to the chiropractor and then after that I went to uh, get my eyebrows done. So I have a lady who does threading. So she did my eyebrows which was super nice. I'm glad that I got that done because it's like on the opposite side of town. So I just went there and got that done so my eyebrows could be all ready for show day. So we have the hair, the eyebrows, and then um, on my agenda for this week, usually people get their... Sorry, I'm sitting right there now. Usually people get their nails done for their show. Um, I bought two packs of like glue on nails from Shein. I got my Shein order. Oh my gosh, guys. It is the biggest order I've ever made of Shein. I got a huge box. I cannot wait to film like a try on haul and show you guys. I have tried some things on and I've already worn things and, and it's just glorious. It's a glorious thing. Like I got so much. I was hoping I could like return most of it, but I don't think I'm going to. It's like amazing. Anyways, so during that, on that order, I got two things of glue on nails because I didn't, I didn't know what I wanted, white or like a nudie color. And then Parker, my twin sister, she does nails as like a side hustle, if you will. And so she said she could also do my nails for the show if I wanted. So I'm trying to decide if I should just glue them on so I don't have to like sit down for two hours to get them done. Um, and then also because the tan will stain your nails sometimes. So if I could put them on after I get my tan. I don't know. So I'm trying to decide. But long story short, I'm not going to get my nails done by like in at a nail salon. I'm either going to do them myself or my sister's going to do them. So that's kind of exciting. 
Um, and then, yeah, so that's the update on the nail situation. And then I am going to spend all tomorrow getting my show day stuff ready. So that includes my bikini, my heels, my jewelry. Um, I definitely want to practice my show day makeup since it's literally three days away and I haven't practiced yet. Extreme, it's very dark. Um, exaggerate because since you are on stage it's almost like theater makeup if you're familiar with that how you have to go pretty intense because the lights like wash you out um, so that is the reason behind the very very dark tan if you don't know I know my coworkers asked me about like why do you have to get such a dark tan and it's because when you step on stage in front of the lights it the lights are so bright that you need to be dark or else you won't be able to see your muscles or striations or just like definition so it helps with that I have three meals down. This is my third half gallon. I have to drink four of these today. Um, and then TD is going to get home around 4.30. We'll eat our last meal and we'll go hit our last workout. I don't know why I forgot what that was. It's prepping. It's got to be prepping. It's been six months of prepping. Um, and that's just insane. So we're excited to spend time with our family after and just be present with him and don't worry about anything so yeah but anyways i'm rambling i'm going to hop back on work finish everything up for the day and i will see you guys after don't mind the laundry it's never ending it's it's really never ending like i just don't understand how two humans can go through this amount of clothes like I've been doing laundry all day for the last two days. It's insane. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good day. Yo, set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do. The aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, but. Good morning guys, it is Thursday. We are two days out from the show. I literally cannot believe it, but I just woke up. It is currently like 11.30. I took off today for work and literally slept until like 11. So <laughs> I'm feeling very well rested. I woke up at a new low, um, probably because obviously I'm weighing myself three hours later than normal, but I'm excited because my weight has been super stubborn lately. It's been like going up. I've been holding on to some water, which is really annoying. So I slept in today, but I did my check-ins with my coach. I just sent those his way and we do have a new plan for Thursday and Friday. So this is when we start carving up. So I get cream and rice. I get a bunch of fun stuff. So I will be videotaping my meals because it's been boring chicken, asparagus, and egg. And now we're eating some carbs. So after four months of no carbs, we're getting some and I'm excited to see how that turns out. So today I will probably be wearing my suit all day long because I have to check in with him morning, midday, and evening. Um, just I guess we can check in on how the carbs are working and how my body's utilize, utilizing them. But I just drank um, my water, I'm gonna take my pills, and then I'm gonna make my first meal. So I'll take you guys along with me and I'll see you guys in the next clip. A little tease for you guys, yeah. This is gonna be a good video guys. Stay tuned for my Shein haul. Alrighty guys, we are in the kitchen and I wanted to show you my meal one of the day. I'm gonna be eating this six times, but I'm so excited because I get cream of rice. Ooh, oh my gosh, it's like literally the first time I've had carbs in forever, so I am literally a giddy. Um, with that, I get some chicken, which I already have pre-measured and like cut up. I'm just gonna add that to it. And let me check. So it's gonna be two and a half ounces of chicken and 50 grams of cream of rice. So I'm going to cook that up and make it and I'm super excited and I'll see you guys when I'm eating it.
might not look amazing to you, but this looks like freaking a dream. So I'm going to go enjoy this on the couch watching TV and live my best life. <laughs> finish our last check-ins for today it is around 9 30 we are about to go to bed and we are so excited tomorrow is one day out but i just want to check in with you guys i was able to tidy up the house as you saw um just relax take it easy for the day um and yeah so we have our athlete check-in meeting at 6 or 6 30 and then i have my first coat of tan at 8 so i'm going to exfoliate shave do all that stuff tomorrow morning get all ready for that and it's gonna be one day out and we are excited so stay tuned and I'll see you guys in the morning I'm redoing that intro because I realized I had my greens all over my face so that's really fun shout out to all max for making the best greens <laughs> but good morning guys it is Friday morning and today we are one day out from show day I am so excited this is the last day of peak week essentially and it has been such an amazing week it's gone by so fast um, today is Friday we don't have any cardio or training again so that's super nice so I have off work like I mentioned yesterday and I just slept in a little bit but I have quite a bit to do before people start coming in. So I woke up, I just had my water and some greens and I'm going to be having my first meal soon but I wanted to hop on here and show you what I'm going to be up to for the morning and laundry. I'm going to be putting away the rest of the laundry because we have so much all the time. It's literally insane. But I'm going to be putting away the laundry. I'm going to be vacuuming up the upstairs just to make sure it's all nice and clean and fresh. And then I'm going to be getting our extra room ready for my parents. That's where they're going to be staying. So I'm just going to, I mean, it's already pretty clean. It's where we do our posing, so the room's pretty much empty. But um, I'm just going to clean up a little bit more, get everything, just the little, the little things ready. Um, and yeah, so then TJ's parents, I'm gonna pick up his dad and his stepmom from the airport at like 11.30ish, I think. So we have um, not that much time. So we're gonna get this done in an hour, eat our meal. We already did check-ins with Cody. I'm excited. I am gonna be super honest with you guys. I'm not feeling 100%. I feel like I'm so used to like looking at the pros and seeing all of them and I don't know if it's just my posing suit or if I should be practicing in my actual suit because it's a different cut. But I am going to say that I'm not feeling the most confident in my physique but I know that all the work is done and I can just relax and enjoy the process of carving up and getting my tan and doing all these things so I can't worry about it any longer. 
but I'm excited to bring a new physique. I'm excited to see what the final package looks like with final package looks like with my suit and my tan and just this new posing and things like that. So anyways, I'm going to get started on this laundry, eat some food, and I will catch you guys in the next clip. Guys, I have to document this. My hair is still wet from the shower. Me and TD just took like literally like a oh, two wow. hour shower, shaving our entire bodies, helping each other. So pardon the look, but I want to show you the aftermath of TJ's freaking armpit hairless. epidemic. Armpits. He's looking hot and spicy, but the this armpits were worst, tragic. This is worst part. Lots of hair everywhere. I just vacuumed in here, but it's okay. But we are officially hair free. We're ready for our tan in a little bit, and we're ready to kill this. Let's go. Hey guys, what is up? So it's a little bit later. I have blow dried my hair now. Um, I am in my loose clothes for our tan because we're about to head to that in about two hours. Um, but right now, I am painting to TJ's toenails because. If you're a boy, this is a hack. Um, tans tend to stain your like fingernail toenails. So if you paint them with a clear nail polish, they will not get stained. So I'm going to do that right now. And I'll also probably repaint my toenails. And then we're going to go to our mailbox and grab some cookies out of there that were delivered today. And then we're also going to go to our tan um, and our check-in. So we have to check in between 6 and 8. And then we have our tans at around 8 p.m. And then we will come back and relax and hang out with the fam. So... Super stoked guys, this is going to be the end of the Peak Week vlog and then I'm going to make a vlog for show day. What is up guys, we are in the car, we are on our way to the venue. Uh, me and TJ have to check in with our coach and then we also have to check in like at the venue <laughs> so we are going to be getting our numbers our little bags our little um i guess competitor badges if you will so we can get backstage and then we're also going to be getting our tans after that so that's going to be the agenda for tonight i'm super excited we'll take you guys through what it looks like to get registered um what it looks like for our check with our coach and then what our tans look like we are super stoked to get our first coat of tan then we'll get another one tomorrow morning and then touch-ups and glazes at that are going to be backstage so if we like mess anything up they can fix it for the most part so yeah so we're super stoked and we'll see you guys at the venue This is as pale as we're gonna be, then we're in dark like a Dorito mm -hmm. boy. Uh, me and TJ are done with checking with our coach, done with registration, and done with our tans, as you can see. Ooh. He looks like freaking Aladdin up in here. Oh, yeah. We're excited. Tomorrow is show day. It's crazy. And we're ready to get after it. So we're going to head home, eat another meal. We'll show you what we got in our registration bags. And we'll check in with you. And the fam will hopefully be in by then too. So we'll see you guys next clip. Okay guys, we just got home and we stopped by the mailbox. And I wanted to do an unboxing with you guys. Because we ordered some crazy cookies and blondies from Let's Do It on Instagram. I will put their Instagram handle right here. But they're pretty crazy. So I wanted to unbox them with you and show you our post-show treats. And let's freaking do it. Oh my gosh, it's like so heavy. Okay, so in this order... I got three blondies and two cookies, I think. <gasps> Holy sh How big those are! Jeez Louise. <gasps> Boys and girls. Oh my gosh. Oh. This is the... Babe, this is the carrot cake one. Oh my gosh, let me see it compared to your face. What? <gasps> wow. 
Oh my god. This is like literally probably a pound. So, so this is carrot cake. I Wait, where's my phone? I can give the description of what they are reading them to you guys. Jeez. Oh, a little bright in here. There's a little dim in here. Oh, goodness. Wait, hold on. So we'll go through them all. Oh, and the nutter butter. I told you that was one that you said was going to be too much. They're Probably. all too much, bro. Guys, just look at the size of this thing. Is the carrot cake... The carrot cake CB combo. So it is a carrot cake blondie base mixed with white chocolate chips, Biscoff cookies, and oatmeal cream pies layered with carrot cake Oreos, cookie butter, graham cracker pie, crusted cookie butter cheesecake, swirled with cinnamon roll filling, layered with a coffee cake, a Biscoff cookie crumb streusel, and a homemade cinnamon roll, topped with carrot cake white chocolate fudge, Biscoff cream cookie chunk, cream cheese buttercream, and a mini cinnamon roll and a coffee cake. Crazy. Bro, look how thicky that boy that's is. Crazy. Okay, so that's one. Oh my God, this one is, one, this is yours. <laughs> mm, what is it? Okay, guys. Oh my god, they're so big. Gosh, that's a thick boy. Okay. Jeez Louise. So this, this is the whole reason. This is the Maple's Ultimate Breakfast. It is a maple blondie base with white chocolate chips, butterscotch chips, and a maple cream cookie. Later with mini powder donuts, an Eggo waffle pop tart, and a raspberry donuts. Later with a butterscotch fudge, swirled with raspberry preserves, candied waffle pieces, and a cinnamon roll maple filling topped with a maple cream buttercream. Crumbled cinnamon streusel coffee cake, a raspberry glaze, and a glazed maple raspberry filled donut on top. So that's a freaking donut. Dang. I bet these things are in my mouth. This is literally watering. I know. Cause this is a fun one. I, I know. This is the one that I was gonna get, and she just goes, "That looks like it's a lot," and I was like, "Well, I want to be a lot." So this is Fudgy's Got Cake. This is a brownie base with white chocolate chips, peanut butter chips, and chocolate chips, birthday cake, Hershey Kisses, frosted animal crackers, and peanut butter M&Ms layered with a confetti cake, Pop-Tart, Reese's Cups, Reese's Peanut Butter Lover Cups, and Reese's Fat- The camera died. Oh. Okay, anyways, guys. As you can just tell, these are glorious, and we're going to shove them in our faces tomorrow, and we're freaking stoked. We'll give you a live rating, perhaps, or potentially a review tomorrow after we shove them in our face. So thanks for watching our unboxing. Again, that was from the company Let's Do It and we are super excited to eat it and yeah. Got our registration bags from the show and they always like put some goodies in here. So I thought we could walk through it with you guys and show you what we got. It was, our show is sponsored by Wolfpack and it looks like toxic. toxic toxic angel bikini so we got a bunch of stuff in here and we want to show you look at this first and foremost big bitty blonde smoke seasoning oh a no salt blonde coffee chipotle rub Oops. that's kind of fine that'll be good a little koozie a little drink koozie yeah, just like open that at the same time yeah you this one a flyer uh, yeah sure all natural goods we got some Big stuff in here. Collagen. A deep green leafy vegetable. Oh, it's like little green tablets. Abs of steel, boys and girls. This is like a little green supplement in a Ziploc bag with a stick of. Oh, I didn't get that. Oh, this is sunblock. A 30 SPF daily moisturizer. Kind of fun. I got some neat ones too. Uh, oh, that's some. Atkins, love that. Five dollars off. Cool coupons. Love. Oh, them. I got buns of steel as well. I got uh, greens. Ooh. Some more greens. This is a collagen candy. Metabolic fat and energy packet from Steel. More collagen candy. Cool, cool. Love that. Love that. Oh, did you guys see you freaking all max. <gasps> All Max, hey. ISO Flex, let's go, baby. We love All Max. This is the vanilla flavor. Steal away. Look at All Max. We got a win. steel pump pre workout. Another steel way. Strawberry yes. milkshake. Guys, I don't know if this is the flavor. Shredded Ugh. AF. It's like a pre workout pill. Steel pump. Okay, cool. Got a little pump product from this company. I got strawberry milkshake from Steel as well. We got all the same things. Abs of Steel Moisturizer. Steel Pop again. Oh, and then Protein Zymes, a strawberry cream. Oh, protein. yeah. Psychotic pre workout. Guys, this will give you a solid pump, but a wicked headache. So if it's worth the risk, send it. And then another Steel Pump uh, little supplement. 
Dang, that's kind of a lot of fun little samples. A company called Beauty Beast. She makes all of her own like organic products. Mm -hmm. And oh my gosh, this is like a muscle kind of relaxer type thing. She puts it on. It essentially breaks down lactic acid in your muscles. So she puts it like on before posing or um, working out. And apparently it's supposed to help you have really good muscle mind connection. And then she sells a lot of like natural products. So I was there for a while. It was like fun chatting about. I was like, too bad we can't put any of your products on because we're about to get tan. But it was kind of fun. So anyways, yeah, we got lots of goodies. I'm super excited. Cool Wolfpack sticker and a cool little keychain. It says, remember where you started and toughen the hell up. It's pretty hey. sick. Pretty sick. And, and then some water bottle, Toxic actually. gave us some socks and fabric swatches for their Fine. suits. But yeah, so kind of fun. A little fun haul. And we didn't get any clothes or anything. We didn't, they didn't have any sweatshirts, but that's our little registration bag haul. Lots of fun samples and exciting things. And yeah, so this is kind of, I think I guess I'll wrap it up for tonight. This is the end of the Peak Week vlog. Tomorrow is show day. We are so excited and we wait to share show day with you guys. So stay tuned for our show day vlog and how we do. We'll see you guys in the next video. Look who's here! Ah! <laughs> she's How's like, she's like, there's Paige's car. I'm like, well. I don't